It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Do I ever get to make a request? <laughs> you know what? No. You know what? It's high time. Yeah, demands, I guess. Requests, no. 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 Yeah. Then I demand... What does toast wear to bed? <laughs> what does toast wear to bed? Jammies. <laughs> All right. Great. I don't know. It was early and it snuck up on me, but yeah. I got yeah, 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 oh, it. I, I, I knew it immediately, and I but I ruined yesterday's by shouting it out, and I didn't want to do that again today. Well, that, thank you. Uh, Please what? challenge me. Oh. <laughs> Wow. I'm not kidding. Yesterday, I was walking around my house to get some stuff done, and in my head, I go, Whole Foods. I should have gotten that, too. How did I have that? It's right there. It's right there. What was the joke again? I don't even remember. I found a store that sells only bagels and donuts. Oh, yeah. What do they call it? Whole Foods. <laughs> <laughs> what? what no. Bonus. <laughs> bonus. No, it's b b b b b b b bonus <laughs> Earlier in the week, we found out that Tom likes to, um, well, I think this was last week, actually, keep keep cups over there. He says there's an ice machine way in the back now, so he fills different cups up with ice, uh -huh. and he has several different liquids going at the same time. So, have, um, so real quick, how many cups you got going right Only now? Only three. Only three! How many stir sticks do you Lemon have? Lemon ginger hand? tea. I don't... Okay. Oh, very pretty. You have any old salmon over there like last week? <laughs> salmon tea? Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> no, and then um, this was a protein box, and uh, you, as you can see, I just, I eat you the apples. You don't eat the skin. You don't eat the skin because I'm is... on the air and it gets stuck in your teeth. That's oh, okay. I was I, wondering why you didn't eat the skin. But I don't, but I don't put them in the wastebasket here because I don't want, I never put any food Oh, you'll get fruit flies and whatnot. Wastebasket sure. because it'll Snakes. be sitting here for the rest of the week and it'll stink up the room. But what your apples look like orange rinds, the way you would eat an orange yes. and have the leftovers. I would ordinarily eat them, but when you're on the air, those things get... So is that from okay. this morning? Yeah. yeah. I just oh, okay. just a little snack. All right, I thought it was nice, like from fresh, earlier in fresh the week. Fresh apple. Just sitting there. Uh, delicious. Hold your tongue and say fresh apple. <laughs> Why? Okay. You know... Fresh? Uh -huh. Oh! Well, you can't wait a minute. You can't do that. I, Why don't you have uh, an apple peeler on staff? Or the, <laughs> yeah, don't you have He or she <laughs> could peel those apples for you there, psycho, and you could <laughs> right down the hatch. Yeah, peel me a grape. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, coming up, it's going to be sexy time. With oh. Allie Breen, I'm very excited People about that. People really hate that. We will... Uh, <laughs> Hello, Bob and Tom show. Bob and Tom, it's Kenny Tarmac. Kenny. Hey, Shooter, we just landed. I'm in LAS, just got in from ORD through JX. Only here for a hot minute. I've got to be in the Sky Club at CLT for a huge webinar today. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure who's in charge of the Radigan corporate, but uh, Gina, get your resume ready. <laughs> <laughs> I know we get back to her. Uh, well, I shouldn't assume it's her uh, resume. It could be she slash uh, he slash they slash them. Did I do that right, Willie? Yeah, you're I doing know. a great job there. I know. <laughs> yeah, last week I took an involuntary 40-hour course on, I don't know, it was called uh, Social sensitivity, something like that. Uh -huh. All I know is the chick who ran this shindig was super hot. Yeah. I said, hey, Toots, I, I want to sign up for next year's right now after seeing those runway legs. <laughs> Anywho, I got a three-hour layover here in Vegas, which means it's long enough to run some numbers and take a nap, but not long enough to do some research for Josh at the Bunny Ranch. Uh -huh. <laughs> Rain check on that bad boy. I had to call you guys today about that Zone 4 passenger that climbed out of the wing last week. Did you hear about that? Yeah, in Chicago was taxiing yeah. to the gate. He jumped out of the plane. I mean, my God, I know nobody wants to work anymore, but whatever happened to all the Sky Marshals? Uh, were uh, they, them on break when this went down? <laughs> hey, no. I know, I know. I say, uh, you know, we need Marshals more than ever. Better, we need to start arming these Sky Hags with tasers. God knows there's already a seven-day waiting period on my Fresca. Uh, I know. Maybe I'll, just, maybe I'll just mosey out on the wing and get it myself, Connie. And while you're at it, grab me a fresh apple. Hey, let's rest again. <laughs> we just landed. Yeah, Connie. A seven-day waiting period on his fresca. Oh, thank you very much. Kenny Tarver. Um, Allie Breen is our guest. She is a, a comedian, and uh, she's also a, um, uh, I don't like the word sexpert. <laughs> Just on general principles. It's two words combined to make a new word. Yeah, yeah. What's that called again? A portman too, or something? That's right. Edutainment. Uh, I think I'm like doing that. a portman too. <laughs> uh, well, the way the show works now is that uh, Allie will read a letter. We will try to do our best to help, and it's, it's usually extremely ineffective. What have you got, Allie? 
Dear Allie, I met a guy in an airport lounge. We hit it off and have been talking ever since. We are meeting up for a weekend in Vegas where he'll be for a convention. I'm very excited, but I'm worried. My friends are telling me he might be married or have a girlfriend. He has zero social media. He says because of work, but that seems like it might be a red flag. What should I do? Ask him if he's married or has a girlfriend. <laughs> At the risk of sounding like a fuddy-duddy, uh, the first time you guys are going to hang out, you're going for a weekend in, in Vegas? Vegas? That seems a little uh, and it's signed, creepy. It's signed, Too fast. it's signed Easy Who? No. <laughs> Easy, <laughs> Evelyn. <laughs> Round heel Ronda. Why not Vegas? There's a lot to do. Yeah, um, sure. It sure sounds married to me, but that's just my gut God, feeling. Yeah. God, ask it's, the man. It sounds like he, it's Kenny Tarmac you're going to meet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he's always the on crotch the, crickets. the sales guy. On the uh, move all the time? Yeah. Well, you shouldn't have to ask because if he's asking her on a date, it should be assumed that he's not. Right, but all her friends got oh, Okay, yeah, married men never ask women out, ever. I mean, come I'm, on. I feel like it's always But I'm just saying, if she actually asked him, I think he'd be like, why would you ask? Well, of course, I wouldn't ask you out. You know, right. Well, hopefully that would be his ask. response. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a great response. And if she finds out he is married, this is all on him because he asked her out. Right, not your fault. Have. It's not right. her right. fault. Tell your friends to shut up. They're just jealous that she's having a fun fling with another guy in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Audrey pays for everything in Vegas, though, before you actually ask that question, because you don't want the trip to get canceled. You know what I mean? What? Uh, I mean, I know, I know what you're, tr you're trying to say, but it's, uh, again, just t typical <laughs> Alzman and scorched earth lunacy. No, 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 you should still enjoy a vacation. You deserve it. Are they having, do they have separate rooms? <laughs> Bingo. No. I don't know. What I mean, do you I would, mean, there's no. no way this guy's going to spring for an extra room because that's just no. He won't have to. His room's on an expense account. Well, He's going there for a convention. There's the thing. Remember when Watley. Got to have a separate room. Remember when Watley yeah. invited Elaine to go to the Super Bowl and she was like, well, what are the sleeping arrangements? I mean, she put it right out there. Right. right yeah, the but start. she wasn't interested in him. That's this right. lady's interested in this guy. And that was yeah, a but she still needs her own room. <laughs> <laughs> and those are imaginary people. Is that what you're trying to tell me? This is a real person with real feelings. Yeah, let's try and, to be. And real flesh. Remember the humanity. But, but no social guy, media. That seems a little bit. That over. seems sketchy, I'm too. I'm sure. sorry. Yeah. I know Josh always bails and just says to communicate because he can't think of anything funny to say. <laughs> <laughs> In this case, he's right. Just ask him if he's married, point blank, and yeah. see what, yeah, what do you got to lose? <laughs> and if he is, just crank up your fee. Next letter. Oh. Yeah. Nice. All right, you just called the woman a whore. Right. Yeah, he did. All right, we're right on track. These are just jokes. Of course. Dear Allie, my boyfriend and I have plans to go to Cancun for a week, and we just got into a huge fight. He said some horrible things, and even though he apologized, I'm really not over it. We can't get refunded for our trip. It's past the time, so I don't know what to do. Any oh, advice? go on the trip. Go Suck it trip. up. Enjoy it. God. Nope, she's not done being mad yet. Yeah. No, no, the trip is the test. If he ticks you off there, then you can break up when you get back. Your mind is fascinating. Uh, that is it's, crazy. It's, <laughs> well, it's already paid it. for. You got to go. Get over it. Enjoy the trip. Maybe My you guys gosh. can rekindle your relationship. Do him a favor. Let him take his girlfriend. <laughs> Have a nice time. And when he comes back, he'll be a little more relaxed. I'm uh, kind of with Tom on this. Let him take his buddy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sounds like you're going to ruin it for him anyway. <laughs> Yikes. Maybe he's going to ruin it for her. No. Mm -hmm. Being a miserable bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Josh and his term, these bitches. <laughs> okay. Dear Allie, my girlfriend and I have great sex. Recently, I asked if I could tie her up when we have sex. We did it. It was super hot and I've done it a couple times since. She says she loves it, but I'm worried she may just be doing it because she thinks I like it. Yeah. I only want to do what makes her feel good. Am I being well, too concerned and worried? Should I continue this or what should I do? Oh I think you're looking for something to be upset about him. She says it's okay. Just shut yeah. up. Yeah. Just or say literally everything just, you said in that letter. Or that just was, talk to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got I got this yeah. one. I've got this one. Here's what you do. This, I, I can't believe it. Hey, Josh just so said good. they should talk, communicate. Go ahead, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Allie, here's what you do. Here's okay. what you do. What, yeah. what, what's, no, who's doing the tying? Who's being tied up, the guy or the girl? I'm She's the girl. being tied up. Okay. He's doing the tying. Here you tie her up. 
<laughs> set off the fire alarm and run out of the room. <laughs> oh, there you what go. What the oh. hell? Really kinks it up, time. I guess. Yeah, that, that, that takes it up a level. <laughs> that that kinks her up a notch. That's yeah, for no. sure. And if you come back and she's not mad, you're okay. Yeah. 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 Now, and she really do, likes now, it. Let me make it clear. It. <laughs> Don't set the house on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Just, that would ruin the joke, you see. No, yeah. just, just trip the smoke alarm. Oh, <laughs> murder. He just turned into a murder. <laughs> Fun combo of manslaughter. And, and you wanted me to shut up. <laughs> no, no, the thing is, you got me in trouble. You go, well, Josh says to communicate. And he looked at me and goes, shut up. <laughs> now, Allie, I, 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 talking to me. I would like to take a pause in the Sexy Time show uh, yes. to try some of these new intros. Uh, for the show, okay. to see how you like them, okay? Let's hear it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what? it's uh, it's a... sexy time. You like sexy that? Oh, no. time. Oh, no. Like that one? Okay, let's let's let's, let's try this one. Let's try this one. Here we go. Sexy time. The Chambers Brothers. The time That's has good come song. today. Uh, here we go. Sexy time. Oh. <laughs> Love runs high. Time of the season. Great song. How about this one? It's sexy time. Sexy time. Sex, sex, That's sex, gotta sex, 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 Sexy time. That was the original. I hate the Who cover of that. You don't like live. rare misstep. By oh, the, uh, that's the, Roger who, and the boys. Who live that? at Leeds. Who? Who is My that? vote goes for that. Blue one. Cheer, I think, had the yeah. American hit. Oh, is that right? I think. Yeah, I, I think, think right. Eddie Cochran. It's, it's an old, yeah, it's an older song. Our listener uh, Ronald says, "Please stop saying sexy time, Tom. <laughs> it's gross. Have one of the girls say that phrase. I need to take a shower. So thank <laughs> okay, you, Ronald. Okay, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll try it. We'll just do a quick rehearsal here. Alzi, try saying sexy time the way I do it. That's, uh, that's oh, the way that, you do that, it. That, that makes the room steam up with sex vibes. <laughs> Really? Oh, uh, that's the way oh. you do it. Okay. That's how you that's do it. That's what you think. So, uh, sexy time. Oh, no, no, no that's not no, like no, a no, witch no. under no. a bridge. Like, awful. Face. <laughs> like that. So, so you're about to like, remove a tooth. The I'm like a office. gremlin trying to speak. <laughs> okay, uh, Christy Lee, try doing the sexy time intro. Sexy time. That's oh, that's it. good. That's Bang. good. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's not bad. Allie Breen, uh, do you want to try it for us? Sexy time. Yeah. <laughs> now flick your tongue at us, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, well, we'll, we'll we're gonna. I'm gonna come up with some original music for you, uh, Allie. So we'll get. Okay. To All right. We got another one, dear Allie. My boyfriend is getting kinkier and kinkier. Yeah. He likes when I do stuff to him with my feet, <laughs> and he likes to have sex right after I work out or go to the gym, yeah, and he, he licks my body and my armpits. Oh, what the God. hell? Hey, hey, let's not judge this. Hey. <laughs> it is oh, not a turn on for me, but he loves it so much. I don't want to stop him, but how do I get accustomed to doing this? I don't know what to do. Suck it up. No. <laughs> well, so he's weird. already sucking it up, evidently. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have to shower. I would be uncomfortable because I wouldn't want them to. Yeah. No, no, he, he likes it. No, he I likes, know, he likes he her sweat. It. I totally understand what she's saying because she's like, but I'm not comfortable knowing that you're. Yeah. If this is where he's starting, it's oh, only going to get better from here. It's only going to get better. You just yeah. got to assume that he really does like. Yeah, you're going to come. You're going to come home, and there's going to be sun tea being made with your panties. And if you don't like it, get out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is his thing. He yeah. has to do this. Yeah. So yeah, if you're not pot committed, you you need to bail. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Think I mean, this it is cuts like, down on shower time. Mm -hmm. You just have oh. liquor clean. Yeah. I don't yeah. think this is like an inherently weird kink, but I do think that you need to be on the same side as him for this to work. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. The feet okay. thing's okay, but I don't think I could handle my armpit getting licked. I, ugh, it just yeah. freaks me out. Josh, ready? Yes, sir. You're close. Just give it a lick. See what happens. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I, no, I, 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 I couldn't. Okay, sorry. I'm not an arrow prick guy. Um, what were you trying to do? What did you want from that thing? <laughs> <laughs> Allie Breed is our guest. The show is, of course, known as Sexy Time. Allie, do you prefer STDs or STIs? 
she doesn't want Ooh, either. I prefer neither. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, I, the parlance, I, I find STI. STI is what people uh, usually say, right? Yeah, but now they're trying to shove STI down our throats. The politically correct. Who's trying to shove it down our throats? This isn't a politically correct thing. This is a medically correct yeah, thing. Yeah, well, right. Science schmines. Oh, STD is the way to go. I, uh, I think so, too. They're going to have to change the name of my favorite TV show, Law & Order STD. Have you ever seen that show? No, I haven't seen that Oh, it's that great. One. Yeah, they're, 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 they're always scratching. <laughs> they try to solve the cases. Uh, but if you want to get a hold of Allie, it's A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N, Allie Breen. And the show, of course, is called Sexy Time. Sexy Time. Thanks, Allie. Great stuff as usual. We appreciate it. Very Thanks, good. guys. Bye, I'll see you next week. Bye. See you. Bye, guys. Thank you. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.